I think protein chemistry is really cool. Uh, when you see how beautifully and elegantly nature carries out chemical reactions that we can't perform in the lab or can perform in a very poor way in the lab, it's, um, it's fascinating. So this project regards membrane proteins. Uh, it's a group of proteins that reside into the, in, in, in the envelope of the cell um, that functions as basically the cell's doors and windows. They let substances in, they let substances out, and they function uh, to decide signaling, for example, into the cell and the communication with the surrounding. And um, for this reason, they're very medically relevant. More than half of all medications affect membrane proteins. And that importance is not at all reflected in the amount of knowledge we have on the structural level of membrane proteins. Um, as I said, half of the drugs affect membrane proteins. About 30% of all proteins we know of are membrane proteins, but they represent only 1% of the available structural information we have. So there is basically a huge white spot on the map in terms of, of understanding. Well, these proteins are designed to reside inside uh, the coating of the cell. And to be able to study them, we need to extract them in some form of solution. And they're not designed to be in a solution. So they quickly lose their, their form and their function. So we need to develop new methods to be able to extract them, to keep them stable, so we have a sample that we can crystallize and study. So once we've, once we've created a, a crystal of our protein, we expose it to x-rays. And then we, we collect a large amount of data, uh, which after some data processing basically gives us a map of where all the atoms are in the protein. And then the most exciting part starts, because then you, you get all this information at the same time and you really want to interpret it and, and, and understand it, hopefully all at once. And uh, at those times you, you find yourself working a lot of hours and, and you get very little sleep. Uh, it's, it's like being dropped somewhere uh, in a jungle that no one has seen before and you just walk around exploring, trying to see what you can see and make sense of what you see. Mm -hmm.